Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. In this presentation, we'll be looking at the Quran, and in particular, we'll be focusing on the mathematical patterns found within it. Each of the claims made in this presentation will be tested in front of you, so that you can go away and retest them if you so wish. It's important to approach this topic with a skeptical mindset by examining the basis of each claim being made, because our intention here is to focus on the patterns that can easily be retested to demonstrate that given the number of mathematical patterns in the Qur'an that it must be from a divine source or that it's at least worthy of further investigation, analysis and study. When Muslims talk about the mathematical patterns in the Qur'an three areas that are often discussed are number one, the repetition of similar words whether they be synonyms or antonyms number two, the relationship between chapter numbers and verse numbers and number three the solving of certain equations using references from the Qur'an and we'll be showing a video on this topic at the end of the presentation. Let's examine each one in more detail. Before we go into this, some basic facts about the Qur'an. The Qur'an is made up of 114 surahs or chapters. Each chapter contains verses or ayahs and there are 6,236 in total in the Qur'an and overall we have 78,257 words in the Qur'an. Interestingly enough, each of the following examples occur an equal number in the Qur'an. As you can see, some of these are synonyms and some of these are antonyms. But what's even more interesting is that you can actually go back to the Qur'an and test these particular examples. To re-perform these tests, we'll be using some well-known software. We have the Qur'an al-Kareem, which is a piece of software developed by Sukhr, and this is a Qur'an-specific piece of software, but we'll also be using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. The first example we'll be testing is the repetition of the words angels and demons. Now for this, we'll be using a piece of Arabic software called Arabic Editor, which you can get from download.com, and we'll be typing the word malaika. So, ma, la, a, i, ka, ha, malaika. So highlight the word, copy, and then we go to our Qur'an software and we go to search and then words change to Arabic and paste the word in. Now you'll notice here there's a couple of options you can search on the word level or you can add the suffix and prefix or root only. Now what this means is that if we search for the root we'll be searching not just the singular form but the plural form malaika, malak, the singular Malakain, the dual. So to cover all of these different options, we have to search on the root level. Otherwise, it'll just give us the word malaika. So we search for root. Then we select all and search. And as you can see here, we have a frequency of 88. Now you can go into some of these examples to have a bit more understanding of what's in there. And you can see here with qala rabbuka lil malaika. So here you have angels and plural. Al malaika. Again, this is plural. But if we go to the next example, lil malaika, where Allah is talking here to the angels, so Allah is talking lil malaika. When you go to this example, al malakain, here we have angels in dual form. So as we can see, it's resulted in bringing up all the different forms of the word malaika. Now we go back to Arabic editor and we type in shayatin. So sha, ya, a, ta. And we copy this word across back to the Quran, paste, make sure it's on the root, and search again. And as you can see, this also has a frequency of 88. Now, again, you can go into a specific ayah to check on what's being searched, and here you can see. And a frequency of 88, meaning that both the words for angels and demons appear 88 times in the Quran. Our next example is the number of repetitions of the words Isa or Jesus and Adam. There's a verse in the Quran that says, Inna mathala Isa inda Allahi ka mathali Adam, khalaqahu min turabin thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. That the similitude or the similarity of Jesus before Allah is that of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. 
So in other words, Jesus, peace be upon him, and Adam, peace be upon him, are similar. So here, as you can see, we've written Isa, copied it, and pasted it in the Quran program. And now when you press search, you get a frequency of 25. You can go into an example of this, and as you can see here, Asa and Jesus. You can now do the same for Adam, copy and paste. And now it's going to give me some options here to what type of search do I want. So I want it to be an Adam search. So you can see the two words are similar. And then you get the frequency of 25 again. 25, Jesus, peace be upon him, and 25 of Adam. Our next example is of action and reward. Fa'il and ajr. So if we search for the word fa'il, copy and paste, same criteria of searching for the root, we get a result of 108. And likewise with reward, copy, ajr, paste, search, and there we have it, 108. Our next example of dunya and akhirah, this world and the hereafter, can be searched for in the same way. But now we're going to use Microsoft Word instead of using Sakhar program. So you can copy the whole Quran into um, Microsoft Word. So you can go to a, a program like this, and then as it opens, you copy each chapter, each surah, into Microsoft Word. And you can build up the whole Quran by doing this. So you can keep on doing this with every chapter until eventually you'll end up with something like this. And here you can see the whole Quran is in one Microsoft Word document. Now if we copy the word dunya into Microsoft Word, so we just spell it dunya, and uh, we take a copy of this. And then we go to our Microsoft Word. Now we're going to go to edit, find, we're going to copy this word in, copy paste, control V, highlight to, to find all, when we click find all, we get 115 results. We then repeat this exercise for Akhira, so A, and then put a Hamza on top, A, Kha, Ra, Ha. We take this copy, go into Microsoft Word, and there we go. Find all, and then we have it 115 results. And you can scroll down the Quran and see where all these results are coming from. Our final two examples are slightly different because now we're we're not going to go an equal number. We're going to take, for example, seven heavens. The phrase seven heavens, seba samawat. If you copy that in, seba and the samawat, heavens. So seba means seven, samawat means heavens. And you copy that in, and you search for that as a phrase, you get seven results. Our next example is if we search for prayer. Now, salah is singular. Salah, singular. If we copy this in and search at the root or with the suffix level, suffix and prefixes, you get 83 examples, so quite a large number here. Now the interesting thing is that when we search for this in plural, note that Muslims pray five times a day. So salawat is plural. We're just searching for the word itself, salawat, plural. And it could have a prefix or a suffix like as salawat, the, the prayers. So we're going to include suffix and prefixes. Select all. And here we actually only get five results. Now there are some other examples which we haven't gone through in detail, but are easy to test. For example, ضيق or worry and reassurance, اطمئنان. Here we can see 13 and 13. Tongue and advice, here you see 25, 25. And also if you search for human in sand, and you search for all of the component parts as described in the Qur'an as mentioned in these two verses in the Qur'an you can see that the human occurs 65 times and all of the component parts added up together total up to 65 again this is something that can be retested 